friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY video. This is an idea that I came up with this week that I thought would be really fun to try. So I had some of the supplies already here and then a few things that I also needed to get. We are going to be making um, candles, but these candles are going to be made with silicone mold. So they're more like the different shapes of candles. Let me show you what I have to make this. So. You can buy beeswax, paraffin wax, that sort of thing. For mine, I have these leftover wax melts from, I had, I bought a ton of them like a year or so ago and I haven't used all of them and I thought this could be a fun way to repurpose some of them. Knowing that for me, the hardest thing about making candles is scenting them. So if you use something like this to make the candles, like it's already scented for you, it also has a pigment as well so that's something to keep in mind if that's important to you but if you're gonna make unscented candles you just want them to be beeswax paraffin wax then go for that this mold makes that little cube candle and they also give me a smaller version all of these are from Amazon and then these might be hard to tell what they are um, but they're like two different little face statues this last one is kind of like the rainbow half circle, whatever you want to call it. I feel like this sort of shapes have been popular lately. To mount the wax, I'm going to use a double boiler that this one specifically is made for candle stuff because it has these little spouts. But I'm sure people buy that and use it for chocolate too. And then this hemp wick. So this is like a spool of wick that way I can adjust it to the size that I need. The first thing that we're going to do is melt our wax. So I'm going to mount mine over boiling water. You can melt it on a griddle. There's a lot of different ways that you can get your wax melted down. So you can do whatever works for you. Okay, so I have my double boiler set up on the stove. I have two waxes that are both off-white that I'm going to do first. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all of these into there. And then this should melt down pretty quickly. We will give that a minute. Okay, so from what I looked up, everybody recommends that you actually put a little hole in the top of the mold to thread the wick through. So we're going to do that and then you just kind of keep it in a container while it's setting in case it drips at all. Our wax is about melted, so once those last little pieces are totally liquid, we'll be good to pour the mold. This is looking good. So now we will just let that sit and then we will see what it looks like a little bit later. First one looks good. It was super easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the other molds and have all of those set up and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so I threaded, this is the hemp wick through the top of this. And then just to note, when you lay this in here, you don't want it to totally touch that bottom because that's the front piece so you want to make sure that there's some space even if it's after you pour the wax just kind of pull that up so that way you don't see it in the final candle now that we've poured the wax we just want to take this wick and make sure that it is in the middle and not floating to the front Okay, next I'm going to do both of the statues, and I was trying to think about which color I wanted to do them. So one is like this more emerald green, so I'm going to do that one, and then I'm going to do this green, just a slightly bit softer. Just look at that center point and stick this in this way, and then take our wick that we have, cut off a piece of that, thread it into the 
needle and then we can just pull this needle down through the center and then what will be great about this is that it'll be centered on the bottom and then on the top we can put two popsicle sticks here to keep it centered um, on the bottom because like this is actually the top which is what's perfect and this is the bottom so these are a little easier because they're upside down so we have done all the steps melted the wax poured it into the mold now we are going to let these sit come back later today and see how they're looking and then pop them out and I'll show you the final reveal. Oh my gosh I love it like I literally love it so much so all we have to do is cut this bottom piece off and then we'll trim the top and it'll be done. I kind of broke this one when I was taking out of the mold which is what I was worried about with this mold because it is a little challenging so all I'm gonna do if this does happen to you which is why I'm even sharing that this failed is you can remount the wax down and redo the mold so for this one that is what I will do for the first time, one out of two popping out of those molds without breaking I think was great. The other ones should be super easy to get out. Those were the ones that I was wondering how they would go. Okay, this one came out pretty good. It does have some air bubbles in it. So again, I might retry this one because it can't hurt to do it again. But overall, I think it turned out great. This one turned out great. This is the little bubble one. No air bubbles or anything on this one didn't break so 10 out of 10 for that one and then this last one turned out great too so all in all I think we did pretty good for our first attempt and this wasn't like a super challenging DIY or anything like that so even the idea of maybe redoing some of them doesn't feel like a huge deal to me Okay friends, that is it for this DIY. I think that this project turned out great. I love the candles and I think it was also super doable, really easy. So I would totally, totally do it again. Um, yes, I love it. I'm stoked. So thanks so much for watching. Hope this encourages you to try some DIY stuff for yourself, maybe this project. And I will be releasing more DIY videos soon, so stay tuned for those and I will talk to you then.